Another way we commonly get to moles in a uh, problem in general chemistry is by using volume and concentration of a solution. Um, so let's take a look at how we can go through that. So first of all, concentration units give us a relationship between different components in a solution. Um, depending what we're doing, there are a number of concentration units that we might use. The one that we use most of the time uh, for most of our calculations and analysis is the unit of molarity. Molarity is moles of the solute divided by the total volume of the solution in liters. The nice thing about molarity is it gives us a direct relationship between moles and volume. So by measuring volume, which is usually a pretty easy property to measure, we can get to moles uh, fairly easily in one step. So let's take a look at a sample problem and see how this works. So if we want to make a solution and know its molarity, um, we'd probably see this type of a problem. What is the molar concentration of a solution made by dissolving 12.457 grams of sodium nitrate in enough water to make 300 milliliters of solution? And of solution is important here because that's telling us that we're dealing with molarity, the molar concentration. So the first thing we probably need is our formula mass for sodium nitrate. So let's look at that sodium nitrate mass. I pulled these numbers off the periodic table. We've got one sodium at 22.99. We've got one, uh, one nitrogen at 14.007. And we've got three oxygens at 15.999 each. So our formula mass is 84.994 grams per mole. Again, always make sure that you're watching your units. All of these cancel, so we're left with grams per mole of sodium nitrate. Now that we've got that, let's assemble our concentration. We're looking at a molar concentration, which is moles of sodium nitrate per liter of solution. So figuring out moles of sodium nitrate, we've got the grams divided by grams per mole. So that gives us moles of sodium nitrate on the top and liters of solution. I just moved the decimal place for this one. Um, to get the liters of solution that we're using. And there's our molar concentration of sodium nitrate. Now, one of the positive things, or one of the things that we can do that's a little bit more powerful, if we think about sodium nitrate um, in solution, that's not going to be sodium nitrate units. That's going to be sodium ions and nitrate ions. So when we're thinking about concentration, sometimes it's nice for us to think about those two individually and independently. So let's break that apart. Once we have the concentration of the solution, well now we can just look at a mole ratio of sodium in this case to a mole, or sodium nitrate in this case, and those units cancel and we're left with moles of sodium ions per liter of solution. So we're left with that molar concentration. We can do the same thing with nitrate. And in this case, it's pretty trivial because it's just a one-to-one -one, uh, ratio again. But again, cancel those units and we're left with the molar concentration of nitrate ions in the solution. What if we go the other direction on this? What if we're looking at a problem that's uh, more like some of the things that we see in lab? How many moles of iron, three nitrate, are in that many milliliters of that concentration of iron nitrate? And 
you'll notice I've got a state label here. State labels are extremely important when we're talking about solutions, um, just to keep things straight. So looking at this problem, what do we have? We've got 47.25 milliliters. Here I've put in an explicit conversion of milliliters to liters, just because I had space to do it. And remember our concentration is moles of iron nitrate per liter of iron nitrate solution, right? That's where that aqueous comes in. So canceling out our units, we're left with simply moles of iron nitrate. We can do the same thing with the nitrate part of that iron nitrate all by itself. And again, it's the same as we did the last time. We've got, this is really just the calculation I did up here and put that mole ratio in. So we now have three moles of nitrate ion per one mole of iron nitrate. So the constant, uh, the number of moles of nitrate ions in this solution is three times the moles of iron nitrate formula units that are in that solution. Again, we can look at that unit cancellation and it all cancels out uh, the way we wanted it to. So that is a couple of quick little examples of how we can use concentration and volume to get to, mol or to, get to moles or to get to molarity, uh, depending on the problem we're doing.